Hi, how are you? Can you hear that in the background? It's not the rumbly, I'm my tumbly. We are gearing down for a big old storm. And that's why I wanted to hop on quickly and ask you a question. How do you recover when you miss a goal? Or what do you do when you get discouraged on your way toward a goal? Now, a lot of people will say, never compromise the goal. Change the date if you have to. And quite often, that's what we have to do. I want to share with you one thing that will help you press on. And I have found this very valuable throughout my life, and I didn't even necessarily know I was employing it. Hi, I'm Daphne Smith, and I'm a wave maker and a truth teller. And I want to share with you something today that has served me well and I believe will serve you well also. Have you ever set a goal and not reached it? If you haven't, I dare say it wasn't big enough. If you're achieving everything on time the first time, are you really growing? Because there's a difference between stretching so that you grow and snapping. We don't want you to snap. I don't want you to freak out and lose your mind. What I want you to do is I want you to have your visions, your sights set far enough in advance that you have to grow as well as go towards them. Now here's just life. Stuff's gonna happen. We're gonna miss deadlines. We're gonna run into technology issues, reserving commentary for a future time. We are flat out gonna possibly run into financial or physical challenges that impede us from making our goal. So what happens when that happens? One thing I learned intentionally from my mentor, although I realize in hindsight I'd been employing it, was that instead of always looking at how much farther I have to go to get to the goal, every now and then it will serve us well to take a little look backwards. I know I've gone on record before is saying, don't spend your life looking in your rear view mirror. That's different. Okay. You know, those people who spend all their time remembering when and they can't go forward because they're so busy looking back. I'm not, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a quick check-in. How far have you grown? I remember when I was training for my first marathon and I did not complete it. There, complete honesty. I did not make the 26.2. I did complete a training workout that was 17 miles. That 17 miles was four miles farther than the half marathon I had completed in the past and way farther than the first 5K I ever completed. So even though I didn't make the 26.2, I had accomplished 17. That was reason to celebrate. What in your life have perhaps you've missed and you may be carrying around some guilt or disappointment with it, but I dare say, if you'll take a moment and look back, reflect at how far you've actually come, sure, you may still have 10 pounds you wanna lose, but how much have you already released to begin with? Does this make sense? Does this resonate with you? If so, type gain in the comments. Because as my mentor Carrie Oberrunner says, instead of mapping the gap, in other words, looking at how far I still have to go, why not take a moment and measure your gain? Look back ever so briefly and see how far you've already come. That right there will give you the encouragement to continue going. Girlfriend, it's so good to see you on here. Lisa, I miss you. Next time you're in the hood, give me a call. Gotta have some coffee. And yes, 
gain. In fact, my friend Lisa, who just hopped on, y'all, she became a, a doctor at not the usual time in life. And I'm here to tell you, more than once, I'm sure she felt discouraged along the way. However, she celebrated her gains. And that's, I know, what gave her what she needed to keep going. So wherever you are now, and wherever you want to go, celebrate how far you've already come. Measure your gains instead of mapping the gap. And the next time you miss a goal or the next time you get discouraged, that's going to be exactly what you need to press on. Thanks for joining me today, Valerie. It was great to see you. Thanks for hopping on. Until next time, Go make some waves. Bye for now.